Hey you guys, Dangerous Thing here and I am back after streaming for the very first time on Camcord and boy was it a stressful experience. I was so nervous, my hands were shaking, I'm pretty sure my palms were grossly sweaty and I was just kind of like not sure of what to say, how to do, how to act, but I had a great time. I actually enjoyed myself more than I thought I would be based on the fact that I was pretty stressed out so I can't wait to do more of that and right now I just wanted to hop back in because I know a lot of you may be in different time zones and you couldn't you know get online and watch me stream and watch uh, the task force uh, OP review and I just wanted to kind of go over it and give you guys a better idea of what is going on so I was away this past weekend again camping in Maine and I saw a gorgeous blood moon while standing underneath the sky and hearing loons uh, call out and uh, that was absolutely beautiful it was a very special moment it was probably one of the most special moments in my life and I am really thankful that I got to experience it and uh, be there um, and so while I was away we have actually uh, as a team have been working on operation stronghold it is now we are now in our second operation stronghold and stronghold is yet again another level of difficulty up from foxtrot and up from um, uh, tinderbox and bottleneck and sour grapes and mambo so we have basically been now going up in the level of difficulty one TF OP after another and now that we have more people um, we are basically trying to get to the very next level which we would be the dead end and I'm pretty excited I can't wait what's gonna happen and give me a second my eyes are adjusting from my glasses I can't really see anything right now so I guess I'm gonna have to pop them back in so um, we finished up Operation um, uh, Stronghold, and I uh, I wanted to show you you know some of the most awesome moments and some of the moments that are really memorable to me because um, you know I, I have been playing with some of these uh, people for quite some time now, and there are some brand new players that came in and rocked it out. So uh, Nicola, I actually don't think I have had a chance to have a full on conversation with Nicola just yet, but he came in and he did a worry rush, and it wasn't. Uh, you know, wasn't the most successful warrior rush. If you watched my previous videos, you know that I, um, you know, I am always intimidated by warrior rush attacks, um, and it's always very difficult to complete a uh, an OP uh, top to bottom with warrior rush because look at all these defenses; they're just blasting you full force, and it's super difficult to take it all down all at once. So, uh, but great effort. He really got. He did a great job getting his warriors to the power core, but uh, it's the matter of them absorbing so much damage from all of the nearby defenses so that was a little bit hard to watch for me and my heart goes out for you Nicola that was definitely a uh, mission suicide and then we had Nino who went ahead and did um, tanks and medics he brought home 19 force points general he's seen who has been playing uh, with me in my test force I think since the time when I opened it up for five or ten people I can't quite remember he's seen if you remember let me know I just feel like you've been in my test force forever you're at this point like family so uh, he soon did the um, tanks and medics and then I guess I clicked on something else in the meantime Josh did um, uh, the skinks, tanks, I always do both, just, you know, whichever strikes your fancy. And you know, guys, I now have tanks and uh, and scorchers, and that allows me to have the torture combination all to myself. And the first time I tried torture combination, it didn't work out for me quite well. I wasn't sure what to do. You know, I watched a bunch of you guys attack, but it's never the same thing until you attack yourself for the first time. So I went ahead and did uh, a first attack live right in front of you right after I got tortures and it was a total fail so now I've been practicing with it and I actually have gotten pretty good at taking down NPC bases with a with a, uh, with a skink torture combination sometimes I actually walk out with zero casualties so um, Josh came home with brought home 28 victory points which was really really awesome and then um, I just feel like watching this one particular attack uh, it's completely random I've watched every single one of the replays and uh, what he does here is he takes his slow pokes all the way to the right hand side corner um, wipes out some of the mini cores um, and it 
you know, sort of weakens out, weakens up the uh, main core, and then, um, and then basically it uh, allows you to get closer to the uh, power core and, um, you know, gives you a better chance at taking it down. And obviously, you know, when uh, so many defenses are still standing, it's not easy to then rock it out and take down the entire power core. But look at that. Look at those Scorcher just blasting the flames. And, um, you know, I love watching them explode. I know it's it's a little weird, but I really love watching them explode because it just creates such a, you know, giant blast. And so right here we have one Scorcher left standing and then we had um, a few of the tanks left. And I think he just simply ran out of time, you know, because tanks are pretty slow. So you got to give them some time to move around I call them slow pokes all right and then we have ghost who took down tonnage with a uh, mega healing combo and then we had little who I've actually got a chance to talk to I think little little I don't know um, you know he uh, or she just joined my team pretty recently and then we have EC who who has been with my task force for quite some time now. Um, really, you know, he's just, he's steady. He's been with us for a while. And um, yeah, one of the first people to join my task force after one of my first videos. I don't remember whether you joined my task force after watching me play with Boom Beach General or with the Game Hunter. I can't believe that I forgot, but if you're watching this video, drop a comment below because I really want to remember. And I rarely see you um, online in the TF chat. So uh, that was an all warrior attack and you know how I feel about all warrior attack. <sighs> Terrified. Terrified of them. Um, Red Evil then destroyed the um, duality with all Zookas and I have to say all Zooka attacks are just beautiful because they pack so much power and because you know you really have to just figure out that you know if you have enough GBE to shock those defenses you have a chance and you have to coordinate it properly because you're spending GBE on smoke screens, you're spending GBE on flaring them towards the power core. So whenever someone can execute it flawlessly, I always just bow down. That was absolutely awesome. So now let's take a look at uh, a few other attacks. And um, uh, so we have Ahmed, who I have not spoken to. We have Reddit, who I've met before. We have Q, who is now back in our TF. We have Latarka, who's been who's been in our TF for a while. We have Naughty, who is now back. Naughty was in my TF originally, and then you know we had some turbulence, and now he's back. So. Rymo, and then we had Joe Beef. Joe Beef is also one of the newer additions. He um, has been with the TF for about a week and a half now. Uh, thanks for joining. And then we had Leo Man who did the hookah and Operation Destroy. Operation Destroy is one of the reasons why we have been able to successfully finish our task force OPs in the past uh, couple of days because he does a really great job providing our team with guidance, you know, writing down notes, and he's just very strategical about what he does. Um, and, you know, a huge thank you for doing that. I know I've, you know, I've spoken to you in the uh, Boom Beach chat and I told you that you're just doing a fantastic job. But I just want you to know that I feel that way both, um, you know, online and offline. You are absolutely amazing. You are doing a great job keeping the team on the right track. And thank you so much for taking your time out of your really busy life and uh, helping our team to move forward. Um, and then we had Fusion, who I haven't gotten to know just yet. So Fusion, if you're watching this video and next time you're online and I'm online, please say hello. I would love to get to know you. Jonathan, Puka Attack, Stee, um, All Warrior Rush, and then Car Car, we had uh, All Zuka Attack. And let's see how these girls went down because it doesn't look like he takes the VPs home. So let's take a look. So he flares them all the way to the core and then what looks like just simply runs out of GBE to keep shocking the defenses. Then he threw some critters but it just wasn't enough and look at how close he's gotten. That is really darn close. And I'm sorry my throat is a little itchy so I'm just going to keep on drinking a lot. A lot of water. So that was really, really close. I wish that he had like another 10 Zookas or a boost or something and then he would have gotten it down. And then we had Nino. Um, Nino went with an interesting combo of um, 
Suka of hookah and, and, and scorch earth, we have to come up with a name for it. Actually, let's take a look at how that went down. I really like figuring out, I like coming up with names for things. I feel like I have my own dictionary for a bunch of things in like a household vocabulary of simple common uh, household things. So I love, I love coming up with words. So if you guys ever come up with new titles and names for certain troop combos, drop a comment below and chances are I'm probably gonna adapt it and I'm probably gonna use it like every day in my life. So that was an interesting combo. Um, let's look at Mod Hunter, who <clears throat> who took down Treasure with all Zuka combos. So Smoke screens them, Smoke scream again, puts them right next to the core in the emptied out spot, then shocks the nearby defenses. And it didn't take much, but did you see that? They got wiped out in no time. That was absolutely amazing. You know, the the time. I feel like if 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 he didn't have like three seconds, this wouldn't have been as successful as it was. So congratulations on a successful attack. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what is going on with my throat. It just hurts. So and then there are a bunch of people that I haven't met yet. Turk202, I haven't met you yet. Talk to me next time you're online. Um, Evanzer, I haven't met you yet. Talk to me next time you're online. Shark Island um, and Dermika, please talk to me, you guys, next time you're online. I would love to get to know you. That's the reason why I was so hesitant to, uh, you know, about opening up my task force to 50 people because I really, I want to know you guys, you know, and not at the creepy level where, like, give me your postal address and I'll go find you, but I want to know why you joined my TF, why you're sticking around, you know, what your favorite troop combo is, um, and all those things. How long you've been playing Boom Beach, what other video games you play, and all those kinds of things. I just feel like it makes the community, you know, much more... Um, you know, much more, I don't know, closer, you know, much more interesting to be a part of. I don't want to be a part of a community where you just come in, you punch in, punch out, get your OPs, get your, you know, victory points, and then that's it. Uh, it it's not what I'm here for. I want to be able to enjoy the game. I'm a casual gamer. You know, I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing this for a living. I, I'm a casual gamer. So, uh, yeah, I, I just... I want to have fun with this. So next time you guys are online, if you see me, please say hello because I, like I said, I'm just going to be a little bit creepy and I would like to ask you a bunch of questions and, you know, figure out who you are and what you do and whatnot. So now let's take Flo, um, you know, let's take a look at Flo. Flo has been, <clears throat> if we took a look at previous records of my TF, Flo has probably started 95% of all of our task force operations. Flo comes in line, if the OP is not started yet, he makes a decision and he goes for it. And if Flo is not around, it's usually his scene. Uh, and recently, I think um, OP started a few ops, uh, maybe I'm mistaken, but I would have to say, if I can think back on 10 previous operations, none of them were started by Flo. So Flo is the fire starter <laughs> and I don't know what we would do without him. Um, and then let's take a look at the last attack of this particular OP. Once again, a wonderful combo of torches, torches, scorches, whatever you call them. I feel like scorchers have the same capacity for uncoordination as do um, as do grenadiers and they just kind of roam around and do their thing but um, in the meantime they pack so much power in those in those flame throwing <clears throat> in those flame throwing flame throwers of theirs I don't know the word I don't know I, it's too late I can't even speak English right now you're lucky I'm not speaking Russian so yeah, um, what I was saying is I feel that when you play with uh, with Scorchers, they just kind of, you know, go all over the place and they're massive and their radius is crazy. So that reminds me of torture of, of, of Grenadiers. But when used wisely, they are just so deadly. I mean, deadly, deadly, deadly. They will make it crispy hot. <laughs> so 
that you guys was an operation stronghold which we uh, have successfully completed uh, one day and 10 hours ago and we are now on operation stronghold 2 and like I said we just kind of moving up and doing more difficult operations one after another and I cannot wait until we do the dead end I ultimately uh, I feel like the name is so enticing and I really want to see what it looks like and uh, you know if it has anything special or whatnot. I actually have not YouTubed and looked up any other uh, YouTubers operations dead ends because I just I want it to be a total surprise. I don't want to be prepared for it. I just want to you know come online one day and see that flow started operation dead end and be blown away. So uh, don't spoil it for me if you already played one and uh, hopefully if you haven't then you will watch my task force uh, take it down in just a few days and um, until next time you guys dangerous thing is out. Thank you for watching